Hi folks, it's Farmer Tom here reporting for Kids Country, the educational arm of the East of England Agricultural Society and I'm just uh, updating you on our field, spinny field up here. Currently just walking the field, picking up any old bits of metal or anything. But as you can see, there's no crop in here. Uh, there's still a fair bit of green cover. They, uh, they are weeds and um, some of last year's crop regrowing. Um, but it's been so wet, as you'll be well aware, that we've uh, been completely unable to sow any crop at all. Um, it's a very worrying time. Um, obviously this land is generating us no money at the moment, but hopefully the green cover there is doing some good to the soil and we'll be able to get a crop in in the spring, in March or April. Um, it's three o'clock at the moment on a, on a Friday afternoon. And as you can see, it's already starting to get a little bit dark. So we've not got the daylight, we've not got the wind, and we've not got the temperature to dry the soil out. Uh, and with a, a fair, uh, fair bit of wet weather in the forecast recently, uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna dry out anytime in the near future. So it's a wet outlook for here on the farm in Spinneyfield. Um, and I'm thinking, I was hoping to get some winter wheat in here, um, but that's moment has probably passed. Um, that's winter sown wheat. Uh, and I should probably put some spring sown barley in here instead, um, which hopefully will be okay in these conditions. It's a nice south facing slope. So when the sun does start to shine later in the year, and I promise it will do, I'm, well, I'm sure it will do, um, we'll, uh, we'll, we should get some uh, a reasonable yield from this, but it will be uh, a field that's already on the back foot, even at um, uh, uh, even in January uh, from where we are. Anyway, from me and from the dog, who's somewhere over there having a great time. Bye for now.